Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It's Friday, the 27th day of May. It's uh, We're right just about done with this month. 27th. National Cellophane Tape Day. I think we've got some right over here. Uh, it's a National Grape Popsicle Day. Oh, I think we got some of those in the other room. I don't think we do. <laughs> well, we should, though. National. <laughs> you tell me to get some? Na- yes, please do. <laughs> National Cooler Day today. We've got a couple of coolers. We do. National Don't Fry Day today. So you're not supposed to fry anything on this Friday. Okay. I don't know why. And it's National Road Trip Day, which is a little more expensive this year than other years. So, uh, And I've got a guest. For those of you who have watched this little program, what's it called? Ozark. Have you ever heard of this? Oh my gosh, I it's, loved yeah, it. We we binge watched we every season as it came out. And uh, Alfonso Herrera, he was Javi on the ah, program. Yeah. I'm excited to chat with Javi. That's coming your way in just a little Very bit. Very cool. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi show on this Friday. What can I say that I haven't already said about BetterCreditCards.com? It's a website. You go there to get a better credit card. Okay, that's really probably all I need to say for most of you, but I still have time left, so how about this? At BetterCreditCards.com, we have different kinds of credit cards, some with better points and perks, some designed to help you build your credit. Whatever stage of life you happen to be in, we want to help. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. I actually have two today, Heidi. Usually I've been reading uh, longer surveys and then I don't get around to anything more than one, but I got two. First one, according to an American Academy of Dermatology report, people typically lose between 50 and 100 hairs every day. Every day. Every day. 50 and 100 hairs every day. Day. That's a lot of hairs. Yeah, it is by the a way. lot of hairs. All right. And another uh, survey here 51% of people said they would rather have jury duty than give up coffee for a week. How about you? I wouldn't mind jury duty. Really? But I could also give up coffee for a week. So yeah. I'm good either way. I'm a big fan of the coffee. So I don't know. I kind of like jury duty. I've never done it, so you know, maybe I shouldn't have said that publicly. But I've never, <laughs> I've never been called. I don't know All if right. you know this, but I love judging people. Do, oh yeah, fan. Yeah, she's she's good at it too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Friday. Are you looking for an energy drink that's natural, lasts longer, has no dyes, no artificial flavorings, and no sugar? Blitz Energy Drink is the answer. With only 10 calories per serving and 200 milligrams of caffeine, our formula will help increase your focus, endurance, mood, and energy levels. Order now at drinkblitzenergy.com. Use promo code RADIO20 to save 20% and get free shipping on any canister. Drinkblitzenergy.com. Promo code RADIO20. That's drinkblitzenergy.com. Did you know? Brought to you by radiotravelgroup.com. Heidi, did you know? How much would you expect to pay for a beer at a PGA championship? Five bucks? Seven? Ten? Oh, uh, fifteen? Yeah, nineteen dollars is oh. what it is. Yeah, PGA championship, Southern Hills Country Club, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Be ready for a $19 can of Stella Artois or just $18 if you want Michelob Ultra. Just eighteen dollars. Cocktails are also nineteen. Uh, white wine. I'm sorry, it doesn't say white. It says wild wine is a relative bargain at just thirteen dollars a pour. Jeez. So perspective here. That's why I don't uh, go to those places. That would buy you at a typical event nine soft drinks, nine bottles of water, four domestic beers, twelve pimento cheese sandwiches. Or nineteen bags of chips. Pimento cheese. I don't know. Sandwiches. I don't know who did this study, but <laughs> I think they're just trying to make us laugh. There we go. We don't know everything, but now we know this. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Helen Mirren is in the news. Oh, we just talked about her last we week. We did. Talk she about her. and Harrison Ford are going to be joining the Yellowstone universe in an upcoming series called 1932 for Paramount. It is uh, the show's working title, An Origin Story, A New Generation of the Dutton Family, exploring the early 20th century when pandemics, historic drought, and the end of Prohibition and the Great Depression all plagued the mountains. 1932 is what they're calling it. So keep in mind, there was also a new franchise that came out called 1883, and that 
and Yellowstone are tied together somehow as well. So uh, now these others you are know, basically. Everybody told us you have yeah. to watch this show. You have we to still watch the show. Seen we it. have still not. We need to get out more often. We really do. And Queen Elizabeth, Actually, by the way. I think maybe it's a good thing that we do get out more often. Otherwise, we would have yeah, seen yeah. all of these. Queen Elizabeth II marked her uh, 70 years on the throne with a huge concert, speaking of Helen Mirren. So she played her in a movie. I've got the whole story in the show notes for today at John and Heidi Show.com. Join us in October for The Sands, a week of music and fun that's been described as the best week ever by many guests. This year, we have more icons and more fun. Loverboy, Belinda Carlisle, Lou Graham, Vanilla Ice, Samantha Fox, Firehouse, and many more already on the schedule. Plus, more announcements coming soon. Plan to join us October 25th through the 30th at Planet Hollywood Beach Resort Cancun. This all-inclusive event will be the time of your life. Learn more now at Radio Travel group.com now your scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of bettercreditcards.com got a fun little game we're going to play here uh it's called what came first so you can play along at home if you'd like and heidi is going to to play along here in the studio so i'm going to ask you two things like this facebook or the iphone which came first facebook facebook yeah 2004 three years before the iphone next one which came first control of fire so it wasn't the invention of fire but like we learned how to use fire or the wheel which came first Control of fire. Yeah, fire. 400,000 years ago. That's 394,000 years. I don't know how they know that. It's not they were writing this stuff down. Yeah, somebody That's jotted ridiculous. it down. They put it in their journal. Dear diary, today we, we were able to control yeah, fire. <laughs> but we'll go with that. That's super. <laughs> All right. Which came first, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets or Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire? I bet there's somebody that knows. I have no idea, Just but I'm one. going to say the Goblet of Fire. Nah. Chamber of Secrets, 2002. That was three years before the goblet. Uh, who came first, Bach or Beethoven? Who was born oh, first? Oh, Beethoven. Mm, sorry, Heidi. Bach. Ugh. Bach was born in eight, uh, 1685. That was 85 years before Beethoven. Uh, how about this? What came first, birds or insects? Hmm. Uh, I'm going to say that the birds came first. No, insects. 300 million years ago. 130 million years before birds. <laughs> Again, somebody was there to jot that down. Yeah, I don't know. How okay, know what that. came first, Disney World or Disneyland? Disney World. Yeah, no, no, Disneyland. Really? Disneyland opened in 1955, 16 years before Disney World. You didn't know that? I thought you knew I that. did not know that. And we got time for one more? Yeah, we'll do one more. Uh, what came first? The Keanu Reeves movie Speed or the Keanu Reeves movie The Matrix? Which came first, Speed. Heidi? Yeah, Speed. Opened in 1994, five years before The Matrix. There you go. If you want to have that uh, fun little game, you can play with your friends at work today uh, or, you know, family, whatever, anybody <laughs> you know. Or if you just want to click on there and see how poorly Heidi did, uh, we've got that. <laughs> At Facebook. I no, was doing well at first. Yeah, you actually did pretty good. Uh, we've got that not on our Facebook page at johnandheidyshow.com. Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? Check out this beautiful family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Poipu, Kauai, Hawaii. Our family stayed recently and we absolutely loved it. The area is so beautiful and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can all enjoy your own area in a vacation rental? Visit Hawaii and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. Learn more at radiotravelgroup.com. That's radiotravelgroup.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Friday. Our guest today, Alfonso Herrera, is known as Javi on the TV program Ozark on Netflix. And my wife and I have been watching this program from the beginning. And the final season just recently came out. It was broken into two pieces. And we watched the first half. And then there's like this little cliffhanger and you had to kind of wait. And now the second half is out. We've watched all of that as well. And I'm excited to chat with Mr. Alfonso Herrera. Welcome to the program, sir. Thanks for joining us. How you doing? I'm great. I'm happy to be here with you. First of all, we're big fans of Ozark. We've seen every single episode. We know how it ends. I'm not going to say anything that's going to blow it for those of you who have not. But your character, Javi, was not in the first few seasons. So by the time you signed on, was it already a huge hit? Well, I I followed Ozark. Uh, when it started uh, as, as, as a viewer in 2017, uh, it it was a complete surprise. It was a, one of those amazing surprises that catches you. And um, 
And yeah, I followed the story since the beginning. So I was very excited to be part of this of this story, of this cast. And Ozark is such a great program. And like I said, we've seen the whole thing. Every single episode is out now. We're not going to talk about how it ends because there are new people discovering it every single day. And some of that is because people talking about how it ends, to people talking about different things. But that's the cool thing about the streaming platforms. You can actually pick it up and watch it whenever you want. Back when I was a kid, you had to wait for a certain day and a certain night to watch each program. But this is a really cool way to do things. Yes, we are living and experiencing a revolution of content where, well, you now can see content all from all over the world, wherever you want, in your mobile device, in your TV. And I feel very lucky to be part of this new way of watching content. And, um, and and I completely agree. I, when I was, I remember when I was like seven years old, you had to wait for your TV show to appear. And uh, but I'm I'm so glad that that is. And and I think I don't know what you think about this, but I think that we're experiencing the best TV in history. What do you think about that? Oh, I agree. And in addition to this particular platform, Netflix, there are a bunch of other streaming platforms, and we still have all of the networks as well. So there's more content being generated now than ever, ever, ever before. So there are probably some great ideas for TV programs that would have never seen the light of day before, but now they actually have the chance to see the light of day. Exactly, exactly. And, and well, going into Ozark, uh, I'm talking about the beat, about the characters, the story, the script. Um, it was just amazing. It was just to go to a story that is so well written, that has a very, very strong backbone with three-dimensional characters that makes a story interesting. Because when you have that type of characters with great directors such as Jason Bateman, such as all the amazing uh, cast and crew, uh, it's difficult to find uh, like teams that are so well, uh, that are so solid, and and the result is there. The result is there. And and if you guys haven't watched the last seven episodes, run, do what, stop what <laughs> you guys are doing because the writers, Chris Mundy, each and every single member from the from the writers whom they say the best for for these last. We've seen it all the way to the end. Now, your character, Javi, is part of a drug cartel from Mexico, and there are scenes at this big, beautiful, amazing home. Is that being filmed in Mexico, or where is that big, beautiful home that you guys are filming all of those scenes located? It's actually a cemetery in Atlanta. Oh, wow. We so, shot that, we shot that in, in, in Atlanta. I, I can't recall the, the exact name of the, of the location, but, uh, but yeah, it's a beautiful castle that is in the middle uh, of a cemetery in Atlanta. Beautiful location, beautiful. Well, it's absolutely fascinating. And again, the final season of Ozark is out right now on Netflix. It was broken into two pieces, and the second half of the final season is out now as well. Our guest, Alfonso Herrera, plays Javi on the program. Again, Alfonso, I appreciate you taking some time to chat with us about it today. No, thank you on the country. A pleasure talking to you. Absolutely. The pleasure was all mine. Again, our guest today, Alfonso Herrera, his character on the TV program Ozark is Javi. I'm not going to tell you what happens. If you haven't seen it yet, you can you can see it for yourself. The final season is out right now. It was broken into two parts. The first and second half are both out now. I've got a link to all of the information and the trailer for the final season in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. What can I say that I haven't already said about bettercreditcards.com? It's a website. You go there to get a better credit card. Okay, that's really probably all I need to say for most of you, but I still have time left, so how about this? At bettercreditcards.com, we have different kinds of credit cards, some with better points and perks, some designed to help you build your credit. Whatever stage of life you happen to be in, we want to help. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, Jack? Cheese is the most frequently shoplifted food item in the world. I would have never guessed that. Really? Yeah, cheese. Another fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Rolls-Royce cars covered in five layers of paint weighing more than 100 pounds of paint alone. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Yeah. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? A suit of medieval armor was once found in a tiger shark's tummy. Yeah, they caught a tiger shark, and they're like, huh, 
This guy's been around a while. How old was that tiger shit? I don't know. Or he just ate the medieval armor. Who knows? Uh, Another fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? All of the sweaters worn by Mr. Rogers were knitted by his mother. Oh, I love that. Isn't that sweet? I love that, too. Another fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Lobsters listen with their legs. Yeah, they listen (laughs) with their legs. All right. I'm gonna, I have some funny comments, but I'm going to move on. Uh, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Growing a beard has health benefits such as preventing allergies, asthma attacks, and rashes, and protecting your skin from the sun. So there's some benefits to having a beard. There you go. Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Are you looking for an energy drink that's natural, lasts longer, has no dyes, no artificial flavorings, and no sugar? Blitz Energy Drink is the answer. With only 10 calories per serving and 200 milligrams of caffeine, our formula will help increase your focus, endurance, mood, and energy levels. Order now at drinkblitzenergy.com. Use promo code RADIO20 to save 20% and get free shipping on any canister. Drinkblitzenergy.com. Promo code RADIO20. That's drinkblitzenergy.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Heidi, here's your question. Couples who spend this much on their wedding are the least likely to get divorced. How much? Couples who spend this much on their wedding are the least likely to get divorced. I'm going to say, well, do I have to have less than a certain Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, say less than how much? I'm going to say less than five grand. Um, Yeah, that would be true as well, but it's less than $1,000. Okay. Yeah, couples who spend less than $1,000 on their wedding are least likely to get divorced. How much did we spend on our wedding? Like 18 bucks, wasn't it? It was $200. 200 Holy $200. Cow. I demand a refund. <laughs> <laughs> and our video 20, shows that. <laughs> 22 years ago. Actually, it was a darn good investment. I'd do it all over again. That is the Mint Mobile question of the day. Comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Join us in October for The Sands, a week of music and fun that's been described as the best week ever by many guests. This year, we have more icons and more fun. Loverboy, Belinda Carlisle, Lou Graham, Vanilla Ice, Samantha Fox, Firehouse, and many more already on the schedule. Plus, more announcements coming soon. Plan to join us October 25th through the 30th at Planet Hollywood Beach Resort Cancun. This all-inclusive event will be the time of your life. Learn more now at Radio Travel Group. Group.com. Time now for some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. A man has been arrested for shooting Johnny Cash. Oh. Well, his silhouette anyway. It was painted high atop a water tower in Arkansas. Timothy Sled, who police believe is the one responsible for firing at the 50,000-gallon water tank, he's in custody. He's facing felony charges. The bullet struck the perfect spot to make it appear as though Johnny Cash's silhouette was urinating. It caused a leak. Oh, I did see this. Yeah. I saw this online. It caused a leak in the water tank for nearly a week. Officials I can't even imagine what that cost. Estimate oh my gosh. the tank lost about 30,000 oh gallons of water every day at a cost of about $5,000 to fix it, by the way. There you go. He got himself in a, a whole, whole heap of trouble. bunch of trouble, yeah. <laughs> so he'll be singing the Folsom Prison Blues, maybe. And we walk in the line all the way to the... Wow. Okay, something like that. Weird News brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. John and Heidi. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Ad slogans that failed to catch on. I always love it when they send me these because you know none of these are true, right? <laughs> so Okay. <laughs> all right. I can't believe it's not lard. <laughs> it's one that just didn't catch on. <laughs> Add slogans that failed to catch on. Come for the goat cheese, stay for the pig's feet. <laughs> wow. 10,000 undertakers can't be wrong. <laughs> um, as seen on TV, if you're watching at 4 a.m. last Tuesday. <laughs> um, have another serving, Porky. Oh, boy. Oh. Yeah. Add slogans that did not catch on. All natural except for the synthetic bacon. Um, how about this one? Uh, which are you going to believe? Boring lab studies or this cool TV commercial? <laughs> Another uh, slogan that failed to catch on. Give us a week. We'll shut off your heart. Well, that doesn't sound oh. good. And uh, there's a couple more here. You uh, uh, you can't spell sucker without you. <laughs> That's not good. And the final <laughs> ad slogan that failed to catch on. 
almost no chance of infection. <laughs> almost. <laughs> yeah, probably not good. Thank you for submitting that. It is The List, brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? Check out this beautiful family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Poipu, Kauai, Hawaii. Our family stayed recently and we absolutely loved it. The area is so beautiful and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can all enjoy your own area in a vacation rental? Visit Hawaii and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. Learn more at radiotravelgroup.com. That's radiotravelgroup.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Eleanor Roosevelt said this. She said, a woman is like a tea bag. You can't tell how strong she is until you put her in hot water. Ah, ah that is true. My beautiful bride, Heidi, over here, by the way, you don't want to be around her when she's in hot water. <laughs> no, I sure don't want to be. No, and I'm usually the one that puts her in that hot water. <laughs> so <laughs> I get her upset. And then she just says, I'm going to leave now before something bad happens. <laughs> And I go, see you in a week. <laughs> and it won't be to me, so All I'd right. better leave It's the quote of the day. Comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, Send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is just a cool story. It's really good news. Comes your way courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com. Here's the headline. Pakistani man traveled to Birmingham, Alabama to have surgery. Then... He invited the entire city to his wedding. He traveled all the way to Birmingham to have the surgery. It was not something that was available in his home country. In gratitude for the experience he had there, he invited the entire city to come to his wedding. Huh. Uh, Shazib Anzer is 31. He had been diagnosed with hyperthyroidism. Did I get that right? Okay. I think I might have got that right. It's a d- disease that had been causing him to have kidney stones once or twice a year since he was Yikes. 18. He was having some digestive issues. He developed skin issues. Uh, The treatment for this medical issue was a surgery that was not even possible in Pakistan because they don't have the technology to do it there. So he looked into traveling to Turkey. Then he was looking at Singapore, then the UK, and then India. Ended up in Birmingham, Alabama. That was the answer. That's where he was going to go. During his time in Birmingham, which, by the way, was his first time ever out of Pakistan, he came to love the city. He visited local Indian and Thai restaurants, as well as falling in love with other places that you might have heard of, like McDonald's, KFC, Five Guys. He walked through Highland Park. He went through the trails, uh, mountain trails. He, He had a chance to see a lot of cool stuff, and he said, it's a place he'll never forget. So he headed back to Pakistan, and he said, I would like to invite anybody who wants to come over and join me to come to my wedding. Oh, it's he invited May. them back to Pakistan. Yeah. Okay, so I guys, thought he was. A, he went and got married there and invited everybody to his wedding there. Said, I believe... Uh, Probably a lot fewer takers. <laughs> 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 the other way around. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's pretty cool either way. So I'd do the same thing. Hey, I was in uh, this other country. You were all welcome to come to my house on Saturday. Now, it's a cool story, I, even if I did kind of chop it up a little bit while I'm reading. There's a lot here, and I'm scrolling through as quickly as I can. All right. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. You, uh, you can read that in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com.